eMarketer estimating worldwide digital travel sales will increase more than 10% this year to $694.4 billion. So how do you play that in the market? Joining us now, James Hardiman from Wedbush Securities, as well as our very own Seema Modi, who covers this space. Seema, give us the lay of the land here for some of these stocks booking. I mean, some of them are doing very well. Very well. If you look at TripAdvisor, it's one of the best performing stocks so far in 2018. It's sort of doubled its price. What's interesting, is though, is a lot of these online travel operators are coming off a very low base. What's helped them outperform some of the hotel, the traditional operators, is that they have a, a much wider base that they cover. So airlines, rental cars, hotels as well. If you look at some of the hotel stocks, they've actually underperformed the online travel operators because you're seeing this decline in lodging supply in some consumers and that transient demand uh, weaken in the past month. Seema, what is the attraction to the consumer for these types of websites these days? Clearly, it's not like there's only one that's really attracting that sort of last minute offer. There's plenty of them to pick from. Are they trying to offer consumers price comparisons or price exactly. discounts. It's just like shopping. It's just like dating. You want options. So with these online travel operators, you have a number of different uh, a number of different search channels that you can use to find different prices and have a better understanding that if you're in some of these tier two or tier three markets, like let's say Florence, not Rome, where you may not know the environment as well, you want to know, get the lay of the land. And that's what these online travel operators provide. James, one of the interesting things I, I, I see on this data is it's still very much a desktop driven uh, sort of set of websites, not so much smartphone. Is that right? Uh, I think that the dominant platform is, is still oh, desktop, but I think, you know, where, where a lot of the investments are being made is on mobile platforms because they do think that's the future. Now, the, the challenge is monetizing uh, those mobile queries as, as people are, are uh, oftentimes starting their search on their smartphones. More often than not, they finish it on the desktop, however. And so the challenges become, you know, making sure the people that, that utilize some of these online travel agents, their, their resources on the mobile phone, that they're able to capture those, those revenues and ultimately those profits when it comes time to book. So James Seema spoke to, to some of the outperformance. TripAdvisor up 70, more than 75% so far this year, but Expedia is down for the year. So where's the value and why such a big divergence? Well, I think in the case of TripAdvisor in particular, we, we entered 2018 with a lot of fears surrounding really the whole meta search business model uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, and TripAdvisor is a, is a meta search company primarily. Um, and as you can imagine, uh, Google is encroaching on their business. Um, and there's an over-reliance, I think a lot of people believe, on uh, a small number of customers, namely uh, Booking and Expedia. Uh, and so coming into this year after a difficult 2017, uh, TripAdvisor has really outperformed. And I think it's become evident that, that even though some of those concerns we talked about are, are still very much valid, uh, they are the, the go-to meta search engine, uh, certainly if you compare them to a, a Trivago, who has not had a very good year. Um, I think and as James, we think about... Yeah, go ahead. No, continue. Sorry. As we think about the online travel agencies, uh, so, so Booking and Expedia, uh, I think investors came into the year looking for any indication, like a lot of other industries, that you know, nine years into a recovery, you know, are there any signs of a, of a slowdown? Um, and so while, while I don't think we've seen a whole lot of evidence thus far, any negative data point, I think, has been uh, magnified in a lot of ways. And I think that's why you know, booking is up maybe 1% and Expedia is down maybe 5% year to date. And, and do you like the cruise ships operators as well? I do. So if I think about some of the big picture trends that are that are helping travel and are, are helping some of these online travel guys, it's you know demographic tailwinds. Uh, you know, baby boomers and and you know Generation uh, Z uh, placing a higher utility on on travel, uh, and then psychographic trends where people are more likely to to, to book their travel online versus on offline. Um, I think those same long-term secular trends are, are very favorable for the cruise lines. Uh, and the cruise lines also uh, benefit from being extremely cheap relative to historical valuation levels.